So neuroscience to me is the final frontier in trying to understand human behaviour. Even small changes in the brain can lead to profound changes in humans. Science is the only thing in nature that is invariant to time. Invariance to time means immortality. I think R&D allows us to take a step into the future. It ensures sustainability for us to find new solutions to tackle the challenges that we face today. Well, I'm a principal investigator at the Institute of Molecular and Cell Biology at ASTAR. My research focuses on neural circuits that regulate feeding behaviour. We all know that you are what you eat. Diet is inextricably linked to human development and disease. We have discovered a completely new region in the brain that regulates feeding. When this circuit was activated in animal models, we found that it caused excessive food consumption even when the animals were not hungry. So metabolic diseases like obesity and diabetes are becoming increasingly prevalent in our world today. As a mother, I can see that food preferences are shaped very, very early on. With modern-day constant exposure to calorically dense foods, it's all the more important to prevent future generations from being afflicted by metabolic disease. Quantum computing has the power to transform many facets of our lives. For example, it could solve classically very challenging problems such as chemical simulations, logistics optimization, as well as weather forecasting. One of the biggest challenges we're facing today is our ability to scale up the system while preserving their performance. My work tackles this challenge by providing some of the missing ingredients to this big puzzle. Here in CQT, we're starting a new team to develop superconducting circuits for hardware building blocks of quantum computers. So far, we've assembled a very international and dynamic team to perform this experiment, and we've also established the necessary infrastructure for us to carry out this work. Quantum computing capabilities will be of strategic importance for Singapore, and my work here hopes to establish that foundation for us to build hardware locally such that we can have reliable and secure access. AI is built on deep neural networks, and deep neural networks is a black box. You do not know what AI is learning, what AI is seeing, and what AI is trying to predict. I have created Aided, uh, the world's first AI platform that can know what AI learns and how to transfer the learned knowledge from one domain to the other. It's the first time that we use mathematics to define what is knowledge. If we can define the knowledge, then we can model what the knowledge is. I think the big impact is that I can significantly reduce the hunger of AI for data because the data right now is in the hand of big corporations and big countries. But my research can help the small countries to also build a strong AI. My dream is to make Singapore the core of AI research around the world, not just copying others' trend. We will lead the trend. In Singapore, there's a constant influx of people and ideas. This synergy allows the spark of inspiration to come for my own research. I want to see talented young people getting involved in this research. I want to create an environment for young scientists to flourish and feel empowered to contribute to the development of quantum technologies in Singapore. I feel very proud of receiving this award because I'm a locally nurtured PhD in Singapore. Receiving this award is a proof of the high quality of Singapore's PhD education.